And NBC Connecticut investigates exclusive continuing series is having an impact. I did watch it. Good job, by the way. On the road series last month, it focused on school bus drivers violating the law with the school bus industry and the state now taking notice. Chief investigative reporter Len Bestoff here with an update. Len? Hey, Mike, we got some feedback on this. And one of the state's largest school bus companies told us our story has reinforced its mission to keep drivers aware of how safe they need to be. School vans going 70 plus miles per hour with students on board. A school bus rushing to beat a red light. Another school van shooting the gap in front of a tour bus on I-84. Our NBC Connecticut Investigates exclusive that showed this and more got the attention of New Britain-based DATCO, one of our state's largest school bus companies with about 950 drivers across Connecticut. We're generally doing yeah, 75 hours of behind-the-wheel training for our drivers. Well over the 40-hour minimum level of training required for school bus drivers in Connecticut. Like many of our state's larger school bus companies, DATCO has kept close tabs on its drivers with GPS tracking and frequent retraining sessions. In um, recent weeks, we've done classes on speeding in many of our garages. Uh, was that in response to our story? <laughs> I will admit we used your story. It's good because it shows people what does happen out on the road. DATCO Vice President of School Bus, Brian E. Chamberlain, said she believes DATCO's school bus driver speeds have been kept in check by constant monitoring with GPS tracking systems that indicate when, where, for how long, and how often its drivers go above the posted speed limit. And we talk to people every single day, showing them where they've made a mistake, where they're speeding too much. And it's that education which makes all the difference. In Connecticut, school buses with passengers must adhere to a 50 mile per hour speed limit on highways. During a recent interview with state police, Trooper Evan Goddard told NBC Connecticut Investigates that when it comes to school buses and school vans, there's no gray area with speeding. You know, there you really. There's really no excuse for that kind of stuff. Connecticut Department of Motor Vehicles Commissioner Tony Guerrera caught our school bus story. People rolling through stoplights, rolling through stop signs, even shooting the gap. And that's concerning behavior. From the DMV's perspective, where do you stand on something like this? As we know, Len, I think in every bunch of apples, you may get one or two bad ones. We always want to make sure our school bus drivers are adequately trained, and I think that they are. He told us the 40 hours minimum training is enough, noting what we have heard from state researchers, that despite poor school bus and school van driving we found, there has been no appreciable increase in school bus crashes over the past decade in Connecticut. Guerrero believes the state, school bus companies, and the public need to leverage the technology we have to keep school bus drivers honest, sending in dash cam videos, or just contacting law enforcement and school bus companies when they see bad school bus driver behavior. I think the key is here is awareness. Right now, the biggest action... Capital involving school buses is an attempt to tackle the issue of people passing them illegally when they're dropping off and picking up students. Len Bestoff, NBC Connecticut Investigates. Mike, back to you. Len